everyone, it's me Nikki here with my simple roasted sweet potatoes recipe. I promised that I would come to you with this video. You saw this in my Monday's video where I shared with you this past weekend kind of what I prepared for my guests. And many of you asked to see this because it's so simple, so delicious, and great if you're entertaining this weekend or having guests over, quick and easy. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need is your sweet potatoes. And the sweet potatoes I like to kind of gauge as one sweet potato per person. That's kind of how I get my serving sizes. I also use organic sweet potatoes because I'm leaving the skin on. I find that easier. You also need your olive oil. And then only thing other is your thyme, sea salt, and cinnamon. That's all I use, very simple. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to clean our sweet potatoes. And what I do is I just take a little bit of white distilled vinegar and just a couple tablespoons and I put it in a bowl. And then from that point, what I do is just add some warm water. And this helps break up the dirt so that when you go to kind of scrub them, it just makes it easier. I find it, that it does. And so I just kind of soak my sweet potatoes and then I go and I wash them to get them all ready. Now then you want to make sure to dry them really well, get all of the water out. And I just take a paper towel and kind of just damp them. You then want to slice them in one half inch sections, just like this. And I find that this is a great size for eating, a great size for serving. So I like slicing mine this way. You can make wedges and things like that, but I just like the way they cook this way. And I just feel like it gets a lot of the flavors in this way and it's simple to, simple to cook this way. So this is the size. I then take my baking sheet and I line it with foil. And I do this to help with cleanup. This makes it so simple. I then take my olive oil and I kind of take about two, maybe three tablespoons and just kind of drizzle it over the baking sheet over the on top of the foil and I brush it into the baking sheet and you want to just make sure the whole sheet is coated everywhere where you're gonna put a potato I then take my cinnamon along with my salt and I also take my time and, and, and the, with the seasonings use what you want if you want to use brown sugar and salt or if you want to use um, cloves whatever your palate desires you can use seasoning is up to you and then you just kind of brush it all over the pan and I use about a tablespoon of each seasoning whatever I'm using I use about a tablespoon I say I guess that would uh, gauge but the key is to make sure it's coated you then take your sweet potatoes and you want to just kind of coat the one side and you just kind of rub it onto the whole mixture and set it down and you're gonna do this to each one of your pieces until you have them all lined up on your baking sheet now the key being is make sure that you have them well coated because that's all of your flavor and it's just going to be really delicious and beautiful. Now when I go to season the top, I like to drizzle just a tad bit more olive oil because sometimes I soak up a lot doing the one side. So if you see that you need a little bit more, just don't you know be afraid to do that. I just want to make sure that everything is coated well. And then I just take the excess seasonings that I've mixed onto the pan and I just kind of dab my brush in and I just make sure that the top of these are all coated and you just want to keep doing this until you have them just like you want them so that they're beautifully coated. Then you're simply ready to put them in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes and then you can flip them and then cook them on 400 for about another 10 to 15 minutes and you have beautifully roasted sweet potatoes. This goes over so well with guests. It's so delicious, so simple to do and great for the spring and summer meals. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my quick recipe. I hope you all are doing great and have a wonderful weekend. I do want to encourage you to go over my Instagram and follow me over there. I share a lot of my day over there and so it's great to keep in touch with you on Instagram. Have a beautiful weekend and this is Nikki saying goodbye.